We're greater than our limitations. They say we can't do it, they hear time. Faith is what we need, not a lot, just a little bit more than a mustard seed. We're greater than our limitations. They say we can't do it, they hear time. Faith is what we need, not a lot, just a little bit more than a mustard seed. Hi, my name is Bouchon Glover, and we're here at Bourbon Bay High School in the heart of Watts, California for the first annual Youth Investment Summit 2023. I speak so children can live their life. They want to play outside, fly a kite, ride a bike. They deserve to live in communities where they ain't got to fight. Now, they're fighting because the police don't care. Fighting because they're a product of a school system that just ain't fair. Fighting because mama's on welfare. Fighting because daddy ain't there. Fighting because they ain't got no health care. Fighting because nobody else cares. Who the hell cares? We have a lot of celebrity guests. We have speakers. And the whole purpose is to teach these youngsters uh, the upward bound, next level, things that we're trying to get these guys to understand because the path that we're on is not the path that we're going to stay on. So we decided to invest our time, money, and efforts to basically change the lives of our children, one child at a time. Give him a loud hand clap, and that's for Coach Cornell Ward. So at any rate, um, the opportunity to stand before you guys again, um, I always say this, and I, I wish there were more parents in here, is that, that we should never die with the torch in our hand. And I, what do I mean by dying with the torch in your hand? Is when you have, everybody in here has a gift. However, the gift does not belong to you. It's for you to give to someone else. That's why Chase is, is done so well. Because somebody reached in and spoke life into him and he developed to what he is today. Very powerful to be here today. We're here for the Youth Investment Summit, investing in the youth of our future. So it's only right that we give back to them, make sure they're situated, talking about mentorship, talking about making correct decisions, talking about going to college, talking about being different and dreaming big. That's what we're all about and investing in the youth. But I'm great to, it's a blessing to be here. So this this up here with all these men is giving you guys, this is food. This is food to fuel you guys up to go to the next level. And take it. You got, you got football players, you got the Army here, you got another young black man that's up in Washington, right? These are places that you guys might want to go, but no, might not never make it in life. But you can make it if you do what's right. I'm unstoppable. Thank you. I received that. I'm unstoppable. You know what I mean? No. It's not all happy in this. It means it's fine, but I'm thankful when I feel in this morning, guess what I do? My name is Laura Dene King, middle child of the late, great Rodney Glenn King, founder and CEO of the Rodney King Foundation. I still have to show up. No matter how I'm feeling, my mental state, I still have to show up. I have to show up for myself. You want to know why? Because our ancestors did it for us. I don't know what they gave up. Imagine, it was against the law to speak English. Did you guys know that? No. Did y'all know it was against the law to speak English? No. We didn't speak English. We didn't talk to you. So that's how we used to sing. That's how we communicate. And look at us now. We're speaking English. You guys could have been anywhere this Saturday and you here with us. You guys didn't have to be here, right? It wasn't mandatory. This is Saturday school, right? So the fact that you guys are here, I'm grateful for your time. I really am. I love you. I love you. In the back, I love you. I do this because I love you. But communication. Communication is key. Okay? The better you communicate with people that speak the same language as you, uh, the more relationships you're going to build. I'll give you an example of communication. Have you guys ever heard of financial literacy? Right? A lot of us aren't taught, aren't taught that language. That's a language that we all have to learn how to speak. Once we start speaking that language, we build relationships with people that, that speak that language, right? Right now, Seriously, I'll give it to you. We need to understand some things. We we need to learn how to unlearn. We've been we've been we've been taught wrong. We've, we've all been taught wrong. All of us. We've been taught wrong. Let's keep going, honey. Uh, so, so since you did all of that, what you apply was the thing that we call faith. Wow. You apply faith. You know that mustard seed faith. You you all heard that right? Faith in the mustard seed moves mountains. It does. It does. It really does. You apply faith. You know, that little bitty faith, we must, he didn't apply that. He applied monstrous faith. See, every single one of y'all, when you walk to the bathroom, you apply monstrous 
faith. Not the faith of a mustard seed. Not that little mustard seed that'll move a mountain. Nah, you, you were this big. You were much more. Yeah, you applied that because you used your mind. 